Amadil Kumar and in this video we will understand basics of solving a quadratic equation given in factored form. So the equation is sin x times square root 2 cos x plus 1 equals to 0. So let me rewrite this equation. It is sin x. This is one of the factors. The other factor is square root 2 cos x plus 1 equal to 0. Now this equation could have many solutions. One set of solution will be because of sin x equals to 0, right? So one set of solution will be because of sin x equals to 0. The other set will be because of square root 2 cos x plus 1 equal to 0, right? Now this could be solved and written as cos x equals to minus 1 over square root 2. Now let's try to figure out how to write all possible solutions for this case. Now we are not given any domain here. It means that uh, we have to write general solution. Okay. So let's look into sin x equals to 0. So whenever sine cosine functions are given equal to 0 or 1, I prefer to find solution from their graph itself. Sine wave, as you know, is kind of like this. Right, so it extends right like this. Now, as you can see, within 0 to 2 pi, it has three zeros. 0 pi, 2 pi. It also has 0 as minus pi. So the zeros are at like this, right? So those are the zeros for sin x equals to 0. So I could write down this solution in general form as x equals to n pi where n belongs to set of integers correct so that gives me one set of solution okay now let me see how to find solution of this one now when we say cos x is minus half that means that we are talking about solution in two quadrants if you apply your rule about in which quadrant cos is positive, cos is negative, cos rule, cos is positive in quadrant 1 and in 4. We are looking for negative value. That means we are looking for a solution in this quadrant or in that quadrant. Is it okay? So these are the two solutions in 0 to 2 pi or so I have written this solution radius, right? So I uh, given this solution radius, you could have written x equals to n times 360, I mean 180 degrees, sorry, n times 180 degrees, where n belongs to integers, if you're writing in degrees, okay, anyway. So cos x is 1 over square root 2 positive in quadrant 1, where the acute angle is, if you write in radians, it is pi by 4, right? You look into a special triangle, which is kind of like this, where the angles are pi by 4, pi by 4, sides are 1, 1 square root 2, right? So for pi by 4 or 45 degrees, we get cos as positive 1 over square root 2. Since we're looking for negative value, so one answer is this one, which is... Uh, uh, in this case, uh, pi minus pi by 4, 1, 2, 3 pi by 4, you could write 3 pi by 4. The other one is 4, 5 pi by 4. Is it okay? 5 pi by 4. So we get 6, 7, and 8. So these are the solutions for the cos function. Now, since the period for the cos function is 2 pi, we could write x in general form as x equals to 3 pi by 4 plus 2n pi, right? 2n pi. So since this repeats after one full cycle, 2 pi is the time period where n belongs to integer. And the other one, this could be written as x equals to 5 pi by 4 plus 2n pi. Is it okay? where n belongs to integers. 
So that becomes the set of solutions from the second factor. Now we can combine both and write down our answer, which is we have n pi, right? And then we have all these solutions, which is 3 pi. You could simplify this also, but let me write like this. It is clear 3 pi by 4 plus 2n pi, or it is 5 pi by 4 plus 2n pi, where n belongs to a set of integers. So you could plus or minus, right, to get the answer. So that is how you could write a general solution for the given factored form of trigonometric equations. Now further, what we will do is we'll take up quadratic equations, quadratic trigonometric equations, we'll factor them and then find the solution. So some added steps in coming videos, get ready for that. I hope the concept is clear from here. And let's move forward. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.